Now the second item that I'd like to show you today is a aviator's flight logbook. And these are very common in naval aviation. They were carried uh, by aviators and air crewmen to this day. And it's, it's in this book that uh, these uh, individuals record their flights that they make. Uh, it'll, it'll give details on the type of aircraft, the bureau number, and in many cases, the nature of the mission they flew. So they're, they're really like flying diaries if you uh, want to um, really capture what they're all about. And this is a, a very special one, especially with its connection to the Battle of Midway. It belonged to Lieutenant Commander, later Admiral, uh, John S. Thatch. His name was Jimmy Thatch, and a lot of people uh, confuse it and say, think his first name was James. Uh, actually, he was called Jimmy because he had an older brother named James Thatch who went to the Naval Academy ahead of him. And uh, when he got there, people just started calling him Jimmy. But his name was John S. Thatch. And at the time of the Battle of Midway, he was the commanding officer of Fighting Squadron 3, assigned to the USS Yorktown, which was one of the three aircraft carriers that participated in the battle. And uh, Jimmy Thatch, if you, if you recognize the last name, it's a very famous one because he developed a tactic, a defensive tactic, uh, as a way for the F4F Wildcat to uh, counter attacks by the more maneuverable uh, Japanese Zero fighter and to support the two aircraft uh, would support each other uh, by weaving back and forth and setting each other up for a shot against the enemy. So it was called the Thatch Weave, a very famous uh, tactic that emerged during World War II and he was the creator of it. He actually created it on his kitchen table in Coronado, California uh, using matchsticks is how he envisioned uh, and how that tactic came to him. But during the Battle of Midway, it's really the first time he was able to employ the tactic against the enemy. And he did so, and his squadron did so, with great success. And so you see in his logbook, uh, he notes that he shot down three Zero fighters, and he also shot down one enemy torpedo plane on June 4th, 1942, which was the most pivotal day of the battle. And you can read a lot from the comments, uh, read into what was happening during the Battle of Midway. Uh, you have, uh, first of all, you see that he landed on Enterprise, even though his carrier that he flew from was USS Yorktown. And the reason he landed on board Enterprise is because Yorktown was under attack by enemy uh, aircraft. And so the flight deck could not um, accept aircraft at the time that he was going to be coming in and having to make a landing. So he had to land on board Enterprise. It also shows that he went from Enterprise to Hornet. Uh, which means that he operated during the battle from all three U.S. carriers that flew, uh, or that, uh, that steamed in the waters near Midway uh, in June of 1942. And eventually it shows he returned uh, to Hawaii. And another thing that's very interesting to note, particularly uh, in relation to what happened as World War II evolved, you'll see that he was one of a, the really a highly experienced pilot. You see he has nearly 4,000 flight hours. And what the U.S. did and what the Japanese did in World War II, uh, the difference can be reflected and told uh, by those flight hours. The Japanese, their highly experienced pilots uh, would stay in the combat theater, stay in the front lines until generally they were either killed or wounded and could not fly in the front lines anymore. The U.S., on the other hand, took their highly experienced pilots and shifted them back to training command uh, duties. And so uh, Thatch's case is an example. Uh, when he uh, finished his first combat tour in the Pacific in 1942, he spent a number of years back in the United States in the training command, helping to prepare the new generation of fighter pilots to serve on the front lines in the Pacific. And he actually developed, working with Walt Disney Studios, a series of training films on on how to fly fighters and the various tactics to be used. And so he was a very uh, prominent figure in World War II and one that, uh, that um, received a lot of attention uh, and acclaim. And this is, though, his, uh, his, his service uh, encapsulated on two pages uh, during the Battle of Midway, which we commemorate uh, this month um, uh, here at the National Naval Aviation Museum and throughout the United States Navy.